All right, before I even start talking about the review, I gotta talk about that new opening. That new opening literally spoiled like most of the manga, like I think like up to like chapter 55, but there's a lot of things in that new opening which they showed, which a lot of people, I'm not gonna say it because it's obviously an anime review. And there was something in the opening where a lot of people were confusing with like a Byakugan or a Jogan. It looks like it's a Byakugan clearly. And I just feel like in some of the manga chapters with the covers, it showed it was a Byakugan too, but I guess we'll just wait and see. Not gonna say much besides that, but the opening was pretty fire. I'm glad that they're kind of doing that. Yeah, I'm like, damn, I be trying to like avoid spoilers sometimes in like the titles, but these openings just be full out, just spoiling. But hey, at least they cover it up with the, the black silhouettes. So let's just go ahead and just jump into the review and talk about this week's episode. So this week's episode had some fighting in it. This is sort of leading up to the main episode, which I believe is going to be episode 208. And in this episode, pretty much Boro and Team 7 meet for the first time and Boro is there to retrieve Naruto's case or whatever ramen bowl thing he's in. And they start out with Team 7 confronting Boro and Boro holding Naruto. Boro basically tells them that only Jigen can open up this bowl and that if you try to damage the bowl then Naruto may get injured. So they can't really do much and they're only forced to fight Boro. Now I really like how they, they're showing that Boruto is starting to have way more control of his karma because and there's a scene in here where Kawaki does his karma and then Boruto immediately does his karma too and sort of copies what uh, Kawaki does so it does seem like Boruto is getting way more control over his karma and sort of in the beginning of this fight I noticed that team 7 was a lot more they just sort of rushed in they weren't working as a team because Boruto and Kawaki just flat out rushed Boro, which is pretty stupid, of course, and they don't really think about what to do. And this sort of causes them to get caught by Boro's dark mist, which is basically a virus that he produces with his body, which gets made by a scientific ninja tool. And really the only way that they're able to stop this mist is from Mitsuki making a antibody for the virus by getting a bite on Boro and being able to produce the resistances for it. So really, if they didn't have Miski here, then they would have they would have got Mollywat because that virus would have paralyzed them and they wouldn't have been able to do anything, though. But it is very interesting because of like how heightened their emotions are during this fight. Just like they sort of just rushed in together, but they have to sort of come back in and just regroup as a team and sort of figure out what they're going to do, because that's very uncharacteristic from, you know, Boruto to just kind of rush in there head on and not really think because he, he, he's gotten to the point to where he's sort of like thinking out what he wants to do but in this fight he sort of just jumped in there and got kind of pissed so he let his anger get in the the way of things but there's actually a little bit of a scene here where they explain what the karma does and it's sort of the karma can't actually absorb things that are natural things that are coming from nature like water natural water in like a lake it can only absorb chakra based thing so that's gonna be very very important going forward i think you should just remember that little fact sort of after the team regroups they decide to make sarada the actual team leader so they can actually have one person to sort of follow and this is where the new team seven gets made it's now a four-man team with kawaki and i think this is probably the best decision to make sarada the team leader because she was the only person that was really sitting back and analyzing what was going on instead of just rushing in so probably the best choice in my opinion we get a new scene of boro sort of talking about him affecting the cities and him sort of ranting about how he's convincing people to think he's a savior and man this dude just sounds he just sounds crazy but a nice little addition was not in the manga and just sort of reinforcing boro's personality and sort of the characteristics they've been showing in the past couple of uh, episodes so yeah so sarada and boro actually start fighting and she gets trapped by the virus and boro catches her by the neck and man this is like one of my favorite sarada moments like as sarada being like one of my favorite characters i like the way she outmaneuvered boro in order for kawaki and boruto to get an opening and do that unison rasengan and that unison rasengan was powerful it literally knocked off boro's top of his body after they do that unison rasengan boro actually regenerates and we're gonna learn soon why that is and how to really counter that but yeah this episode was pretty good still sort of setting up for this next episode which is going to be a lot more action-packed now that they're sort of working together in a team instead of just you know rushing head on and this episode was okay um next one definitely going to be better but yeah it's really all i gotta say about it just look forward for the next couple episodes anyways hope you guys enjoy make sure to like comment and subscribe and join the discord 
and I'm out. Peace.